Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Gay Replay Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, again, we're still spending time talking to our companions. I think it's going to be several videos of us talking to companions and doing side quests. We just got uh, the amulet for Cole, so we're going to go kick, kick off his companion quest. The one and only. It started out helping, taking the fear away. I won't take too much. I am not that. I found the amulet that Solus told us about. Would you like to try it on? Yes, but not here. I like it here. We need some place that can go away if it becomes sharp. Oh, uh, yeah. What do I do with it? You found one of the amulets. Excellent. May I? It is simple enough. You put it on, I charge it with magic. And you should be protected. You think this will work? We know it's not just going to work, right? It never just works. Have faith, Inquisitor. Mm. Ah! Yeah, I was right. What was that? Oh, for... What are you doing to the kid? Stopping blood mages from binding me like the demons at Adamant. But it didn't work. Something is interfering with the enchantment. Enchantment? Something like Cole not being a demon? Hmm. Maybe Varric is right. Solus, is it possible that the amulet doesn't work on Cole because he's too human? Regardless of Cole's special circumstances, he remains a spirit. Yes, a spirit who is strangely like a person. I don't matter. Just lock away the parts of me that someone else could knot together to make me follow. Focus on the amulet. Tell me what you feel. Warm, soft blanket covering. But it catches tears. I'm the wrong shape. There's uh, something. There. That way. Hmm. It appears we have something to find. I told you it never just works. <laughs> All right, kid. Get Cullen and work with him on the map to figure out where you're sensing something wrong. Will you come with me? All of you? Of course. Sure. Oh, I love you so much, Cole. All right, I get it. You like spirits, but he came into this world to be a person. Let him be one. That's where I disagree with Varric. I don't think he came here to be a person. The reason, if you remember what happened to in Cole's story, and he is going to explain the story again. The reason why he came here, his main reason was not to be a person. His main reason was because he, he originally was trying to help the real Cole, and then that Cole ended up dying. So, I guess, in order to help, because this spirit's all, he's, he's the spirit of compassion, he just wants to help. So in order to help Cole, he basically became Cole. He became Cole to, I guess, allow that Cole to live on, um, so that he would be, he would not be a forgotten boy. He would not be forgotten. He still exists. He still is meeting people, talking to people. Sometimes making friends with people. Um, the, the turning into a person part was just a, a way to help. But that wasn't the main purpose. The main purpose was not to become... I'm just trying to make it clear. His main purpose was not to become human or be a person. His main purpose was to help the original Cole. And in doing so, in doing so, he happened to become a person. Or he happened... Like, like the way that he thought he could help Cole happened to be by becoming a person, but that was not like the principal way of doing it. If there was another, if he could have very well have thought of another way of helping Cole out, helping the original Cole um, through other means other than turning into a person, turning into Cole. So that's the part where I disagree with Varric. 
because Varric's kind of making it seem like that was the primary reason, and it's that wasn't this primary reason. That wasn't the reason why why the spirit did what it did. Um, but as for Andy, I think Andy agrees with Varric. If I see a way to protect Cole without taking away whatever he is, I'll use it. But Cole clearly needs our help. I'm not saying we do nothing, but that ritual of theirs only works on demons, right? This is not some fanciful story, child of the stone. We cannot change our nature by wishing. You don't think? However we deal with the problem, our next step is to track down whatever is interfering with the enchantment. Yeah. So let's 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 see how this plays out, shall we? I again, I know a lot of you guys were waiting for me to reach this point a second time. So, here we are. Yeah, this should get me through the month. But give me a moment. Greetings. Can I help you? You. Here we go. Here we go. You killed me. What? I don't... I don't even know you. You forgot. You locked me in the dungeon in the spire, and you forgot, and I died in the dark! The, the spire? Cole, stop! Just take it easy, kid. He killed me! He killed me! That's why it doesn't work! He killed me, and I have to kill him back! Hmm... If he killed you, wouldn't you be dead? Cole, this man cannot have killed you. You are a spirit. You have not even possessed a body. A broken body, bloody, banged on the stone cell, guts gripping in the dark, dank. A captured apostate. Yeah. They threw him into the dungeon in the spire at Valroyo. They forgot about him. He starved to death. I came through to help, and I couldn't, so I became him, Cole. If Cole was an apostate, that'd make the guy we just saw a Templar. Must have been buying lyrium. Right. Let me kill him. I need to... I need to. Wow. Not much compassion there. I still don't understand. Before I decide anything, I need a clearer picture of what happened. It seems the real Cole was an apostate. Captured and taken to the circle by Templars. Who aren't known for their gentle nature. As the young man starved to death in a dungeon, his pain caught the attention of a spirit. Likely one of compassion. Right. Compassion? An uncommon spirit, certainly, and all too fragile when its efforts to help prove to be in vain. Solus, we cannot let Cole kill the man. I don't think anyone was going to suggest that, Chuckles. Cole is a spirit. The death of the real Cole wounded him, perverted him from his purpose. To regain that part of himself, he must forgive. Come on. You don't just forgive someone killing you. You don't. A spirit can. What do you think, Varric? Varric? The kid's angry. He needs to work through it. A spirit does not work through emotions. It embodies them. 
But he isn't a spirit, is he? He made himself human. And humans change. They, they get hurt. And they heal. He needs to work it out like a person. You would alter the essence of what he is. He did that to himself when he left the Fade. I'm just helping him survive it. Okay. So... Andy agrees with Varric. Andy feels like, you know, let's help Cole be more human then, and the amulet may not be necessary. Um, very different from very different from Art's attitude. So, yeah, Cole needs to grow. Cole will never grow into a real person until he comes to terms with what happened. Leave it to me. Let's see how this plays All out. All right, kid. You want revenge? Come with me. Let's see how this goes. I haven't seen this before, guys. This result. So, this whole thing is blind now. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry isn't going to help him now, is it, kid? Beric? No. Pull the trigger and put him down like a mad dog. Beric? All right, here we go. Do it. Go! It was... How you doing, kid? Feel any better? No. You can't make it all just go away. I learned that the hard way. Forget. No. He needs to remember. You too. We're done here. The music just kind of cut right there. I was like, aww. Completely spoiled the moment. The music just cutting there. It's okay. Well played, Beric. Well, I didn't expect you to do it. I didn't expect you. I could have sworn he was making him kill him, but no, he didn't. Good job, Beric. Well played. I'm glad you handled that. You handled that very well. Andy definitely was good to trust you on that. For all we know, the amulet will now never function. Cole remains vulnerable to binding. No, he isn't. The amulet didn't work because he's too human, right? Maybe now the kid's also too human for that binding magic to work on him. I hope you're right. It still hurts. When do I stop hurting? We'll help you. Being with your friends can make you feel better. Come on, kid. Let's go for a walk. It'll clear your head. The left hand misses a friend with two different names. She's hurting, sad, alone. But everyone can see me now. They remember. How do I put honey in Leliana's wine without her noticing? <laughs> Aww. I can help with that. Aww. It is good that he is not entirely changed, however human he becomes. A lot of people have been telling me that they prefer the human, human coal more. I'm still waiting to make a final decision on that by looking at both of these. Looking at both to see whether or not I agree or disagree with that. Because I, like you, like you all saw, I chose to keep Cole a spirit first. And now I'm checking out to see what being a human is like. And so far, so far, I still prefer Cole as a spirit. Personally, again, this is my complete opinion, guys. Completely my opinion. Only because... As a spirit, he was special. Like, I'm not saying he's not special as a human, but he's now more like, he's just like, he's more and more like everybody else, which I know that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to fit in. It is not a bad thing to be more like everybody else. And yeah, it's great that he doesn't have to worry about people forgetting him all the time. But I don't know, it's just, Cole's story is not a Pinocchio story. He wasn't trying to, he wasn't wishing to be human. He always wanted to help people. 
And I'm not saying, again, that he can't help people as a human. That's not true at all. He certainly can help as a human. I just felt like, as a spirit, he had the capability... He was more equipped to help people in ways that no human could, was my argument, is that he had the ability and the capacity to help people in ways that no one else, no one else could. And that's why I thought he was, that made him special. That made him very special because I don't know of very many spirits that turned human, like took a human form. So far, Cole is the only one that we're aware of. And so trying to make him just like everybody else, just like making him human, it probably makes the people around him happier. Does it necessarily make Cole happier? Like, I don't know if I'm convinced yet that he's necessarily happier. He probably is just as happy. Right now, I think he's just as happy as a spirit than he, as he is as a human. I think he's just as happy or just as content, however you want to paint that. And I think that the whole making a more human part affects, I guess, how other people feel of, for him and think of him. I guess it's just kind of, I don't know, like, I think people should accept Cole for who he is. Because what he is is a spirit. Um, and now people are able to accept him more because he's more human because he's more like us whereas I feel like we should we should like people regardless of whether or not they're more like us or if they're different from us if they're you know diversity is a good thing diversity is a very good thing and I'm not saying necessarily that Varric was trying to do this for Colin so that he can assimilate himself you know and lose his uniqueness, because he's still Cole. He's still a unique and original guy, and he's still special. But I don't know. It. I, I'm so far not convinced yet that I, I necessarily like human Cole better than spirit Cole, and that's okay. That's okay, because it's just my opinion. Um, I'm going to talk to Cole again, because I feel like there's another scene with him um, which is probably going to be a bit different from the scene that we had with, with, um, with Art. Hey, Cole! It wasn't from a flower. He rode it in the snow. Hey, do you want to hang out? Now that you've become, you know, more human and all that good stuff. How'd you like to get out of here? Maybe do something fun. I don't know. I've never tried. Come on. Come on! So we're going to see how this, this scene plays out with Cole as a human. Inquisitor, you honor us with your presence. May I bring a sampling of fine cheeses for you and your mm. guest? Oh, he actually knows. I don't eat. He noticed Cole this well, time. Well then, just a bottle of a fine Gislaine White to start. Please enjoy Yay. your meal this evening, your worship. Andy and Cole on a date. Yay! My dreams, all my dreams have come true. In this one. Me. They all see me. I'm glad you've allowed them to. I don't know if I did. <laughs> I find well. people when their pain leaves them open. I ease the pain. I leave, they forget. That was enough for me. Now they remember, and I'm not sure. <sighs> Cole's laughing. Cole? He's laughing. I told you about Reese, the mage who could see me, my friend. I love Reese. My only friend for a long time. Evangeline showed me that Templars could be kind, but even she. Hmm. Cole, if this is troubling, we don't have to talk about it. Gentle. You watch me walk into darkness over and over, and you always worry. Thank you. Aww. But this isn't about them. It's about... 
When I found out I wasn't human, when I grew, I lost Reese. I lost my only friend. That's why I was scared about letting all these people see me. That's why I laughed. Hmm. So... You're laughing at yourself? Yes. This world taught me that changing means losing your friends. But now I know that doesn't have to be true. Yeah. I have enough self to know that what I felt was foolish. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Uh, yeah. Sure. It's another good step, Cole. I might like being human. What do you think I'll learn next? There's a lot of possibilities for you, Cole. There's a lot of possibilities. So it's quite different from the other scene. I think I found the Spirit Cole scene for this Spirit Cole version of the scene um, a lot more entertaining, a lot funnier. But this was more. This was more heartfelt. So, yeah, it. There, I don't. I wouldn't say one is necessarily better than the other. They're just. They're both different, which is great. I like different. Let's keep talking to Cole. I'm here. I'm here. So... May I ask how things are, now that you're more human? It hurts. Everything hurts. Everyone remembers me now. I can only make them miss me for a few heartbeats. But... I'm real. More real, anyway. And I understand more than I did. Well, that's good. That's, a, that's definitely a very big positive. You're still able to sense the feelings of others, aren't you? Yes, I still feel things. Flashes of their minds. Pain, hurt, all of it. It's not so loud anymore. I make more noise myself, so I don't hear as much unless I want to. I remember more things, though. It lets me learn. I sometimes see why something I said would bother Cullen. Mm. Maybe I'll do it less. <laughs> so he, okay, so some very good things, some very positive things come out of call of Cole being human. I never, I never implied that there were no benefits to being human. There certainly are. He has a greater understanding of other people. He has the ability to learn like a human, you know, obviously be treated like a human. There's a lot of boons to becoming human. There's no doubt about that. And he is pointing out all of the good points of being human. Can you still help people if you can't make them forget? It's harder. I can't start over if I do it wrong. But seeing me changes them. They know a person wants them to hurt less. That helps. It's a different way of helping. Why can't you make people forget you anymore? Because I'm real. The forgetting was for both sides. They weren't frightened by me, and I wasn't hurt by them. Making people forget was a defense against people attacking me, and having what they saw in me stick. Because I'm real, everything sticks. Whatever people think or feel about me stays. And that's a very human thing. Uh, absolutely. Are you still physically the same, or are you fully human? I was always fully human. I can do everything I could do before. Except make people forget. The way I move comes from my mind, not my body. As long as I remember some of the fade, it remains. My body is just like the real Coles. Except that he was a mage. I'm not. But why not? That is interesting though, why not? Why aren't you a mage? I can't know for sure, but... The real Cole, his father beat him, killed his mother. Mm. His sister might have died, too. I don't know if that was real or what the demon made me think. Then the Templars threw Cole in darkness and starved him, all because he had magic. He thought that if he didn't have magic, I'm what he wanted to be. Mm. Him, but normal. So no one would hurt him. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. 
What's the difference between you and a spirit now? Spirits are... they just are. Most of them sense something that interests them and stick to it. They don't remember much. It keeps them pure, but it also keeps them from learning, from growing. I wanted to help people, but I only knew enough to do it in the simplest way. Now I can see more. I also want to hit people a lot. <laughs> Varric is helping with that. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. He hunts the killer, but he's the one who killed her. He can't remember. I don't know what reference that is. Can you explain how your mind works? Yes. Mm. Walk me through the way you help someone. I start by listening. I hear hurt, feel it fretting. Some you can solve by giving something. Food, a blanket, sleep. Some are intangible, terrible tangles that catch on a crack. Fix it, festering, and the person makes a pearl of pain. I shake it loose. No pearl, no pain. They can hope, they can heal. Sometimes you say things that relate to other members of the Inquisition. They remember me. Their eyes stick, some more. They want me to be. Varric lied. His bow broke. Mm. It was a trick trigger, a trap, but it helped like a truth. Solus isn't afraid of me. He sees spirits and understands. But he's sad underneath. Yeah, and I think we know why. What do you sense when you focus on me? You're too bright. Like counting birds against the sun. The mark makes you more, but past it, the stone, still there, silent and reaching up for the blood that walks. No dreams with the cord cut. You sell it. And past that, the weight of all on you. All the hopes you carry, fears you fight. You are theirs. It mm. must be very hard. I hope I help. It must be sad, feeling everyone's pain all the time. Why? Isn't it? No. I help. I find wounds and heal them. I salve, soothe, save. I see pain and make it better. How could I not be happy? I love that. I'll talk dialogue. to you later. Goodbye. That's one of my favorite dialogue from It wasn't blood game. in the bath. Fingers on the scalp, intimate, and then the moment is gone. What do you think of what happened at Adamant? What do you want to hear? The nightmare said terrible things to all of us. You included. Mm -hmm. It said it was like me. No, I was like it. Worse, a lie, a twisted to hurt, unless it isn't. Mm. I help the hurt, then make them forget so I fly free. It steals their fear, gloating, gluttonous. I don't make them forget for me. It's for them, easier for them, but it's for me too, so I can wash clean. I'm not like it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm me. And if I'm not, you'll stop me. You'll kill me. Oh, Cole. Cole. It's all right, Cole. No one is going to kill you. No, no, don't say that. You need to. If I'm bound or broken, you need to kill me. Well, we fixed that. The four was wrong. But that was when I didn't know. I can't not know again. No one gets hurt because of me. Please. You saw the Divine, or the spirit acting like her. What do you think she was? Helpful. That mm. isn't an answer. Yes. It was hers. Spirits aren't able to do what I do, but I can. I am me. She was her, whatever she was. So even Cole doesn't know. What did you think of the Grey Wardens? They obeyed orders to hurt people they were supposed to protect. They were like the bad Templars. It's good that you banished them. If they come back, you should kill them. Mm. You seem to be uncomfortable in the Fade. 
Yes, Rod, right and rigid. Can't relax, can't release. Shouldn't have been there like that. Like looking at a picture of a picture of yourself, but you're a picture too. I wanted to flit, fly, flow back to freedom, but frozen instead. Frightened. Not like that. It should be like me. What did you think of the fortress itself? It scared me before. I couldn't feel through the fear. This time it was sad. Too much pain, darkness. They die in waves against the wall, bleeding, but the blood inside is the same. No one should live there. Bad things happen. I'll talk to you later. If you like. So, after seeing a good chunk of both, after seeing spirit coal and a good chunk of human coal, and again, this is my opinion, guys. You're allowed, because many of you I know will disagree with me. Uh, but I still personally prefer spirit coal more. I still prefer. Um, and uh, I don't know. The other, the uh, the best analogy that I can think of, the way I see it, is take someone like take someone like Clark Kent, Superman. Superman has these amazing powers, um, and he can use his powers for good, and he uses, or he could use his powers for evil. Uh, he could use his powers to benefit himself, or he could use his powers to benefit other people. Fortunately, uh, traditionally in the comics, Superman he uses his abilities for good, and he uses them to benefit other people and not himself. Personal gain and all that. You can take Superman's powers away from him, but in doing so, he is not as effective at helping people than he would be if he did have his powers. You know, there's... I'm not saying at all that he can't solve problems or he can't have help people, because I know there have been many instances throughout Superman stories where he loses his powers temporarily. And during that time, he has to learn and figure out how he's going to help people or fix problems without his powers, and that's great. But overall, bigger picture, he is more efficient and has better ability, ability and capability to help people in a grander scale with his abilities. So the way I see Cole is, again, he is a spirit of compassion. His main goal, his main sense of being is he wants to help people. And if he remained a spirit, I feel like he would have more, he would be, be able to help people a bit more efficiently with his stronger spiritual powers. Now he does still have a bunch of his spirit powers intact. Um, and he does, I admit, have a lot of, he pairs that with human understanding, which is great. So, I mean, he ends up helping people differently. He ends up helping people differently. But again, just the fact that he was a spirit, and to me, because he said that he was already human, he was already human, but now he's a little bit, a lot more human than he was before. Um, whereas in Art's uh, playthrough, he was more spirit than he was at this point in Andy's playthrough. So, I don't know, that's just, that's just the reason why I personally prefer Cole as a spirit versus Cole as a human. And, I mean, you guys can definitely continue debating in the comments one way or another, whether you're team spirit or team human for Cole. Um, I think that if I'm in the minority, I kind of like that. I kind of, again, like being someone who is a bit of a devil's advocate or someone who has an opinion that doesn't necessarily match maybe the most popular popular of opinions. So anyway, those are just my thoughts. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing the other side of Cole as a human. I'm sure we will see a few more scenes with him and a few more things about him as a human, especially in the Trespasser DLC which we will come to, you know, some point near the end of this, this uh, playthrough. So until next time, everybody, love yourselves and love each other.